I'm here at DVD 2016 with Jamie Clark, Head of Marketing for SC Group, of which Supercat is a part. We're standing beside a couple of concept demonstrators unveiled by Supercat publicly for the first time at the show. Jamie, could you tell us a little bit about these two vehicles, please? Yeah, hi, thank you, Sean. Um, what we're showing here is some demonstrators of how uh, we can do, we can fulfil other capabilities but using the basic HMT technology that's in the Jackal and the Coyote. So the idea is what else can be done now that those Jackal and Coyote vehicles have been taken into the core fleet that increases capability but also makes, takes advantage of efficiency and commonality. And, and the vehicle we are standing beside now is a logistic variant? Yeah, Sean, this is the Logistic Variant Concept Demonstrator, which is based on an HMT 600, uh, so effectively a Coyote Automotives. But as you can see, um, there's, there's only a two-man cab, there's no seats in the back, there's no gun ring, and we've put a very flexible logistic load bed on the back, um, amongst other features which we can talk around on the vehicle a bit later, that show exactly what, what you can do in order to support the fighting vehicles. And, and, and could you talk us through some of those features? Yeah, in simple terms, we've put a very flexible load bed on here that has this rail system that allows you to fix components in and out very quickly. So some examples of that are this jerry can holder here that fixes in and can be folded out. Just behind you here, you can see there is the, uh, the, the tool bin, there's a motorbike rack, um, there's other bits and pieces that we can put on here in order to fulfil that complete logistic support role, whether that be supplying fuel, ammunition, rations, water, um, equipment support, repairs, spares, all of that stuff can go on this, what effectively becomes a mothership that then supports the fighting vehicles. And there's quite a, a novel set of ramps around the other side? Yeah, you've seen the ramps that are fitted there. Um, at the moment they're shown on the side of the vehicle and that allows um, the user to put a quad bike up the side, um, which means you can put two quad bikes side by side on the flat. Or you can put the ramps around the back of the vehicle and drive an ATV on there in place. So those ramps are hollow, um, which allows us to then use that as packaging space for other bits of C um, CES for the vehicle. They then slide inside underneath the flatbed so they're self-contained within the truck itself. And you're also showing a, a recovery variant? That's right, Sean. The, the recovery is also based on the, six, the, the HMT 600 base platform. And on the back of that is a Boniface Miller um, recovery system that incorporates a crane and a winch. Um, the principle there, again, is having a common base automotive platform allows the user to be able to be logistically better placed. Um, but the real thing about that vehicle is it's a lightweight uh, recovery vehicle that fills a gap that sits below the larger SVR, which is a much heavier um, and more capable recovery vehicle, but it can't necessarily get to where the Jackal's got to or some of the other light vehicles in the fleet. And, and the UK MOD has a requirement for a vehicle of that type? There's a number of requirements kicking around in that space for to support light vehicles. Um, there isn't a specific one that we've aimed this at, but it's, it's, it's to fill that capability space. And Jamie, just for, for those people that might not have caught up with the, the SC Group branding uh, for Supercat, could you perhaps just talk us through that? Yeah, so September last year, um, that coincided with the DSEI show in London, Supercat rebranded to become SC Group. Um, SC Group is now the umbrella company that sits above the other companies within the group that also include Supercat looking after defence. In the non-defence um, part of the business, we've got a new brand called SC Innovation, and they do all the stuff that Supercat used to do in, that was non-defence. So that includes the RNLI lifeboat launcher, our wave energy device, and a number of other projects in that area. Excellent. Thank you very much.